How's it going out there, everybody? As always, I am the Wolf Knight, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders 2. Continuing from where we left off, we we're gonna <clears throat> go over here and talk to Rosie so we can continue with the story. We got a little bit of wheat seeds, and we planted them down in the last few spots on our little ground here. So. Yay! Ah. This will make things so much easier on us. A bag. Now we don't have to worry about leaving anything on the ground. Because our bag is huge. <clears throat> Alrighty. Yes, Brittany? <laughs> We gotta go find a giant worm that's able to clean the clean the ground. So, yep. oops, wrong button. Hi, <laughs> ah, dogs. Once again, barking. <laughs> so we gotta head this way. So let's keep on. It's a quest to find the giant worm. <laughs> ah, looky what I spy. This guy is over this guy over here is very tough. But he is possible to defeat if you I've seen a lot of people play who tend to avoid him. Well we're not gonna do that. We're gonna fight him. As you see, he pitched decently hard. And that's his move that hits the hardest, that triple thrust. Make use of your thrust. Make use of the jump and the running. Malroth will tank most of the damage. Oh, that's why we want to be careful. When he jumps to go around, or especially when he goes to do that. We've got this in the bag, easily. Oop. So they say don't count your chickens before you're hatched. But, going down. <laughs> As you see, we get 10 cabbage seeds from him. Now, this thing is called a Navaglobe. It is basically your fast travel. Let's eat a few bits of the food to get our health back. <clears throat> hmm. Someone, we're looking for someone who can clean dirt. Just telling us how to use the Nava Globe. So we gotta head this way. 
Oh, more fencing to take. Always grab that. <sighs> Get a Mara. Head over this way into the desert. Or, well, a slightly desert. <clears throat> so, let's take some of this sand, actually. If we come over here, you see there's a treasure chest. With nothing but a basic stone sword. I mean, if you haven't, if you get, haven't had, if you haven't got the bit, and here's the worm we're looking for. We didn't mean to drop in behind them like this, but hey, it works. Bring it on, you bag of bones. Now, for a while, Malroth is going to be your big damage dealer. The monsters are defeated. Ding, 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 ding. Hello, Mr. Worm. A builder? Uh, yes, I do say. What a surprise, the Wickily follows me. Now... We're gonna also, uh... See, we got some earth right here, so we'll be taking this with us. Because in order for him to change... The spoiled soil into... You know, this... Earth... They need these things called, uh... Worm food. And in the beginning of the game, there's a slight process to get. Because you need, uh, three items. You need grass seeds, acorns, and night soil. And grass seeds, you can, you get off certain enemies. Acorns, you can find, uh... So many of them out on, out on big trees, and also dropping from a, uh, certain enemies. Night soil, however, is the thing that will take the longest. And why? Because it's a, it's a thing it's a it's a thing you accrue over time. And once I tell you where you get it from, you can probably guess what it is. Once we construct our toilet, we'll start getting it. Yes, you heard me right. I said toilet. So you can imagine what night soil is. <clears throat> Alrighty, I think that'll be enough. Uh... We don't need these bones. They're not going to come into play for uh, to make stuff for quite a while. Like, not until like the end. Now that we got the, uh... Now we go to our map. And we fast travel back to Furrow Fields. <laughs> can I join? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he's a descendant of the tribe that keeps the ground clean. <laughs> Try.
trying to threaten me? Huh, well, it's working. You've got yourself a deal. Very passive. Most people will be like, you threatening me? We'll square up. I'm ready. <clears throat> well, yes, I did all the leg work. Yeah, she just told me uh, about a rumor, so all praise should go to me and me alone. So let's take this. Let's go over here and talk to Wrigley. Now he will start turning all the spoiled soil around scarecrows into plain earth. And plain earth within the boundaries of a scarecrow gets tilled. And we get more, to more tilled soil. Thank you, Wrigley. <laughs> no need to cry, Rosie. Ah, more cabbage seeds. Excellent. And wheat seeds. This will really allow us to expand. Now, if you remember what I told you that as you harvest these, eventually the seeds will disappear and you won't be able to get any more. Well, when we go back to the Island of Awakening and start completing uh, these li this objective list that we get on these things called Stone Tablets, it will level up our uh, villagers, especially our farmers will get a, get a nice few bit of upgrades. One of the most useful ones is the villagers will auto harvest your crops when they're fully grown. The great the great thing about that is that when your villagers harvest the crops, it doesn't count towards you harvesting them. So they won't disappear. So let's take these and get these nice and planted. Excuse us, Wrigley. And there we go. And now we'll plant these wheat seeds as well. Well, we gotta wait for our villagers to make more tilled soil, because that trying to keep it nice and functional. But let's go to sleep. Some more gratitude points. Always check your bedrooms at the end of every day because there's a, always a few gratitude points. And if you don't want to go run around, run around to all your different bedrooms, you could just come over here take your trusty hammer and just whack the bell. That will cause all gratitude points to instantly come to you. So let's see. Let's, well, let's forget funk. Uh, uh, dogs. And get these planted. Yo guys, come on. I need more, I need more tilled soil over here, please. <clears throat> Now, 
one thing I think I will do off camera is uh, once we end this episode, I'm gonna make another uh, scarecrow or two, and I'm gonna go around and convert like all this into earth because grass actually does spread. It took me a second to notice, but you know, grass, any grass you put down will spread. And uh, once we do that, I think we'll do a little adventuring off camera and go find the big forest and grab a few grass seeds. Now grass seeds, uh, when you use them to make worm food, they turn, uh, Wrigley will turn a nice big chunk. I think about, let's see. I think he turns about maybe around this size into a uh, grass or grass grass seeds by themselves turn it into a uh, only does a three by three. But if we if we uh, do that, you know, we'll get all this turned into earth, and then we can go and get a few grass seeds from these things called bodkin archers and then we'll just throw one or two splotches down and then as we go through the game the grass will I, I believe spread I, I, I think it's I, I, I believe it's a strong possibility that the grass will spread <clears throat> I don't need you guys to water I need you to Till I have two more wheat seeds to plant. But uh, we're almost out of time for this episode. I believe I'll uh, store everything in our nice chest over here that we don't need. Remember, any materials you pick up, just. Oh, those dogs. Just, I'm looking out my window right now and I don't see anyone. This is the one annoying thing about dogs is they'll bark. Especially if you have one of those dogs that barks about at just anything. Make the field bigger. Mission complete. Yippee. 50 blocks of soft, unsoiled soil. <laughs> You're welcome, Rosie. Goodness, look, the day tree. Why, what's it? Ha what's happening to it? Oh, we're getting another little shrub. And everyone's happy. He's always threatening us with that magic attack. <clears throat> look, if you're really gonna do it, do it. Otherwise, hey. Huh? Can't jump in when I'm doing a jump attack, huh? But anyway guys, thank y'all for joining me. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye!